Hello, everyone. I should start off by saying that I've never, ever, ever done an unboxing or a flip through of a tarot deck before, even though I have been using cards for about two years now. I just felt compelled to share this deck with all of you because it's absolutely gorgeous. And I've only seen one other quick little video of it online. So I just wanted to bring it to more people's attention because I've really connected with it. And as I said, it is simply gorgeous. It's the Soul Cards Tarot deck by Christine Fredheim, Karina Nika, and Eva Eklund. This is an indie deck. It was created in Greece by these three lovely ladies. However, all of the words and, you know, the title cards, everything's in English, so it's very easy to use. It comes in a two-part box, very sturdy. The box is gorgeous, just like the cards, the same finish, this velvety matte that just feels like a rose petal. It's simply gorgeous. And that's on the back. Um, it does not come with a guidebook, but if you go to the website, soulcardstarot.com, they have all of the card meanings and several layouts for you to try. So I encourage you to do that. Okay, let's get to the cards. So I should say that I first learned about this deck from a Facebook page that I belong to called For Love of Cards. Somebody posted information about this deck and the minute I saw the images, I fell in love. I went right to the creator's website and decided to order a deck. Uh, unfortunately, the two versions of this deck, the blush and the black, are on pre-order for a second printing. They said that the decks would be mailed out from Greece uh, sometime mid-April. But So I did order the black deck from the creator, but I decided I couldn't wait. I wanted to get my hands on it, so I ordered the blush version from a shop in Maine, and it came within a few days. I think they're sold out of the black. I'll, I'll put the link for the store where I bought it um, below. But so this is the blush version. I thought it was perfect to share with you guys since the first day of spring was yesterday. It's vibrant. It's colorful. There's different shades of pink. It's stunning. The deck is gilded, but it's not that glittery gold that comes off. It's a very matte gold, which is beautiful. It reminds me of the Moon Child Tarot and the Star Child Tarot, kind of this antique -y, mattish gold. It's just beautiful. The lighting isn't the best in here, so I don't know if you can see this, but the cards are a lovely blush pink. Just beautiful. Now, I will say that this is a pip deck. There are no images of people or animals or anything like that. It's simply geometric shapes and symbols. So I have to say that almost every single tarot deck I own has either people or animals on it, kind of scenic cards. And I always thought that that was what I needed because I thought it would help me interpret the cards and understand the meanings. But when I saw these cards, something in me clicked. And I actually think that I was afraid for no reason. These symbols are bringing out my intuition and I'm just connecting with these cards and really wonderful things are happening. So I highly encourage you guys to check it out. I'm gonna just go through them really quickly now, just so you can see how beautiful they are. But for more information and to order the cards, Go to the website, soulcardstarot.com. Okay, here's a major arcana. The Fool. The Magician. The High Priestess. So there are little clues on each card. You know, the crescent moon. The kind of the eye. So you know what's up. I, I love them. I think they're just gorgeous. I love everything about them. 
So here's the Empress. Look at the Queen. The Earth Mother. Here's the Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. Look, they look like swans. Intertwined, beautiful. The chariot, look at the wings. Strength, look at that lion's face. Oh. This is, I think, my favorite card, the hermit and his lantern. Wheel of Fortune, Justice, The Hanged Man, it's like a pendulum. There's the Death Card, Temperance, The Devil. The tower, the star, now this is the moon, although there's no title on this card. I actually emailed the creators and they said that they did that intentionally on the blush deck because the blush version is their favorite version of the deck and the moon card is their favorite card. So they thought they would make it stand out from the rest. They did say it was intentional. I don't know, but <laughs> it's pretty clear what the card is. So it's not that big a deal if you miss it. Here's the sun. Judgment. The world. Okay, now we're into the minors. There's the Ace of Wands, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Here's the page of wands. The knight. The queen. The king. Okay, and next we have Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Here's the page, Knight, Queen, and King. And then we have the swords, ace of swords, two, three, four, five, six, with the river, 
seven, eight, you're stuck, <laughs> nine, ten, page of swords, knight, Queen and King. And lastly, we have the Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, page, knight of pentacles, queen. and king. Okay, so everybody, again, that was the Soul Cards Tarot deck. Thank you, Christine, Karina, and Eva. These are so special to me. I'm in love with this deck, and yeah, I just want to shout it out to the world. <laughs> SoulCardsTarot.com, you guys. Thanks for watching my first ever video. Yay! <laughs> Bye.